So, all right, so we got 35 over 10 times 80 over 63 divided by 16 over 27, right? So the first thing I probably want to do is deal with this dividing part. Dividing fractions, you flip and multiply. So, um, um, so, so basically we've got, we got to multiply by 27 over 16 and we'll write out the rest, right? Right. <laughs> All right. So now we cross cancel common factors. Now, the thing with this is you can cross cancel um, in lots of different ways. But you have to remember two things. You must cross cancel a number from the bottom with a number from the top, you know, and that, that's pretty much it. So like we can, I'll, I'll give you some examples. We could say, okay, it looks like nine goes into 27 and 63, right? It looks like 10 goes into 10 and 80. It looks like uh, two goes into um 16 and 2 goes also goes into 80. 8 goes into 16, 8 goes into 80. 7 goes into 35, 7 goes into 63. See how there's lots of ways of doing it, right? Yeah. In fact, the the only thing we don't have like 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 it we could cross cancel this number here with this number here if it actually worked, but it doesn't. Or we could cross cancel this number here the 10 with the 27, but they don't have common factors. But if we had a problem like that, we could do it. The, the fractions don't have to be beside each other, right? As long as the factors on the bottom and the top, we're good to go, right? Right. So where do you want to begin with? And well, what I had done was I reduced the 63 and 27 okay. and reduced down. So 9 into 27 three times, 9 to 63 seven times. Lovely, right? And now we can do, if we wanted, 7 and 35, for example, right? But again, there's lots of ways. We can right. Be, you know, so what would you like to do next? Well, that's what I was doing was the 7 and the 35. Seven, and then 7 and 35, five times. Good there? Right? Right. Good. And we can do the um, 80 and the 16, right? If you think about your 8s. Yeah, that'll go to... Right? Yeah. 8 and 16 twice, 8 and 80 10 times. Ooh, that's nice. We've got a 10 up there. 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom, right? Right. Let's give that a go. 10 to 10 once, 10 to 10 once, right? And now, you can multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. You know what I was doing wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I was adding. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Common mistake. Five times one times three, we got 15. One times one times two, we got two. 15 over two. And as a mixed number, we'll put it as a mixed number as well, but because two into 15 goes seven times, doesn't it? Yeah. Remainder one. So seven and a half, right? And just for the purpose of this video, for anyone that's interested, like some, there's other ways of doing this. Like, like some students like to list pairs of factors. So for example, see how 35, you can write that as five times seven, and then 80 is like eight times 10, and then 27 is like three times nine. You guys can do that too if you want to, that's fine. And then we have like a 10 down here, and that would match with that 10. And then 63 is like nine times seven, and 16 is 8 times 2. So if students want to do that, you guys are welcome. And this is just for the purpose of the video as well. As, you know, so 8 and 8 goes once. 10 to 10 goes once. Um, you know, 9 into 9 goes once. Look at that. There we go. Um, here's a 7 into 7 goes once. And we're left with the same thing. It's like 5 times a bunch of 1s times 3 times another 1 is 15 over a bunch of 1s times 2, right? Okay. Right. So, but the point is, keep going. And by the way, like some of you guys, some students would end up with like, you know, 30 over four, but they're not done yet because two goes into the top and bottom. Do you see what I mean? So yeah. two and two goes twice, two and 30 goes 15 times. So my point is everybody needs to end up with 15 over two 
uh, which becomes seven and a half. No matter what way you go, you have to reduce it down as far as you can. That's the whole point. All right. Okay.